gay anonymous love juice than some great burping, farting pig man. Anonymous knob juice, didn't they play Nebus with Pink Floyd? <laughs> don't understand it. I still feel safe. Here, Jenny, sit down a bit. Have my chair. <laughs> How could you pick on someone in her condition? What do you mean? I think she's bearing the fruit of my loins. Oh, I've got a t-shirt with that on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought the dad's biological had shifted. Look, uh, why don't you go back on stage? Mm, I know where I'm not wanted. Okay, we'll just stand in the wings then. <laughs> Look, uh, Jen, can I get you a glass of water? Oh, thanks, Frank. That's really nice. Too nice. I wonder what Freud would make of it. I'm not even setting for a homemade cake this time. <laughs> there you go. Look, wouldn't you feel better if you was flat on your back doing a bit of heavy breathing? Ah! <laughs> okay, Frank, I'm having a look at that. I'm having a look at that. I'm having a Okay, well, I'll, I'll see, see if I can slip in later on. Have a cake, Frank. For God's sake, have a cake. Oh, <laughs> Oh. Ah. Billy Moore, ladies and gentlemen, he's just like one of the family, except he talks to me. <laughs> but now, talking to family, I've written a poem to my cousin Wally, uh, it's entitled simply Wally. I wish upon you a pox, spuds in your favourite socks. I hope you die with the OP of your life marked down in a cheapy box. May you rot and burn in hell, may you choke on your own pissy smell. May the fluff in your navel drive you unstable, may you suffer verrucas as well. May all your conquerors be won us. May your sex life fail with dishonours. May your victory be small and your enemies tall or driving 32 tonners. <laughs> may your bathwater always run cold. May your robe apps never refold. May you lose all your diaries and may director inquiries keep you on permanent hold. I think I'll. Oh. Ah. Firm but fair, I like to think. And now, fear to say, firm favourites of the Crumbs or Palladium, please welcome Attila the Stockbroker and John Oway. Evening, Crumbs um, This first one we're going to do is the Englishman's Guide to European Travel, as compiled by The Sun, with a bit of help from Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> The Dutch, the Dutch, they're much too much. We're gonna kick them in the crutch. Flick bogeys at the slimy wogs and trip them up with their own clogs. We'll twist their ears and break their glasses. Stick their tulips up their arses. Foul their women's with our bowels and vomit into their canals. The Danes, the Danes will bash their brains and wire their willies to the mains. Boycott their bacon and their prawns and go and piss over their lawns. The scabby Scandinavian scum got scrotal scabies to the bum. They live on fish heads and wheat tea. Their lager tastes like canine pee. The Swiss, the Swiss, they think of piss. No race more tedious than this. With cuckoo clocks and huge amounts of money of their bank accounts. They may be rich, but we don't care. We'll shave off all their pubic hair and make them live in Belgium. That's the right place for the boring prat. The French, the French, they smell like tents. We'll change them all into a trench. Get loads of garlic on our bread and suffocate them all to death. We don't like onion snails or prunes, so smeg off frogs, we rule the roost. You may be existentialists, but we're dead hard and we get pissed. The Czechs, the Czechs, they're scared of sex. They've all got crabs and skinny necks. Their cars are shit, their beers are strong. We're not going to stay there for long. It's absolutely zilch to do. There's no black label and no glue. So we'll just wreck the place and go and leave the thing. Ooh, the snow. The Greeks, the Greeks will slap their cheeks and lock them up in bogs for weeks. Puke in their restaurants and bars and write good slogans on their cars. We'll get a load of herpes scabs and stick them all in their kebabs and write a note in puke to say, Club 1830, rule OK. The Yanks, the Yanks. <laughs> Duh. Many thanks for bringing in your bombs and tanks, protecting us from Arab hordes, and bringing herpes and skateboards. You're foreigners, but you're all right, cause you speak English and you fight. Or so it tells me in the sun, Cool, being a moron is such fun! Ah. Thank 
you. And um, this is my poem. Um, this is called Chew. When I want to look cool, you know what I do? I chew. Yeah, I do. If I want to impress the girls, you know what I do? I chew, yeah. I just, I just walk right up to her and masticate. <laughs> um, that's that. Uh, somebody else's song, it's one of my favourites. Um, but sadly, uh, Little Spoilt by Rolf Harris. And Splodge. <laughs> Two little boys had two little toys, each had a wooden horse. Daily they played each summer's day, warriors both of course. Then one little chap then had a mishap and broke off his horse's head. And he wept for his toy and cried for joy as his younger brother said, Do you just say happily you're crying when there's room on the horse for two? Climb up here, Joe, and we'll be flying. Tiller the stockbroker and John Otway, ladies and gentlemen, two little boys. But now, before the interval, I want to have a word with you about the Crumsall Palladium and its future. Uh, the new management are thinking of uh, stopping all these shows and turning this place into a bingo hall. Friends, I appeal to you. <laughs> when Jennifer returned to the kiosk, she found a strange, rough-looking man helping himself to a bonbon. Unconsciously, she licked her ripening lips. Who was he? Jennifer pondered, until a tiny sound escaped from her firmly clenched buttocks. <laughs> she reddened slightly, and the rosy hue only served to make her more desirable than she already was. The man turned, and Jennifer scraped her shoe along the linoleum, as if to suggest that that was what the noise had been. <laughs> Their eyes met for the first time, and time stood still. He spoke first. All right. <laughs> Jennifer swooned as she steadied herself on the polos. Who are you? Molly. That was my mother's name. <laughs> they stepped closer. He undressed her with his eyes, getting caught up on her brassier fastenings. Ow! What is it, love? My eyes. I thought something in my freaking eyes. Pull your eyelid down and blink. She cried as the pain racked her huge torso. Hey, hey, let me. His voice full of concern, like a doctor attending a breech birth. There, it's out now. What was it? A needle. Inexplicably, in ecstasy, the mating ritual had begun. Man and woman drawn together in a pagan dance.
from a manufacturer that's won six gold medals for the exterior and interior build quality of its cars, this is the Proton MPI. The only manufacturer to give you six-year mechanical and bodywork warranties, with cars that feature a high specification. From only £6,990, excluding delivery and number plates, the Proton MPI comes with two years free servicing and up to £1,000 cashback until the 30th of September. Proton, now even bigger value. How'd you pump up that jaw? With this round three screwed pastel. Choo choo choo. like a good horror film. Pepper Army. It's a bit of an animal. Howdy. Making movies. The American dream. These are the men behind that dream. Core's making men. You ruined my shot! Uh, you ruined my shot. You ruined my shot, John. John, that was fantastic. I loved it. I want to do me First picture. No western town is complete without its authentic old saloon type of place where men of yore would reach for the cores, cold filtered. Sorry about that, John. No drinking yet, man. John! Cores, take three. And now let's talk to the men behind the camera about cores. Cold filtered for them. Hey! Hey! Man, what's happening? No! Try to hide! No! Try to hide! Action! Quiet for the product shot. You're back on the ground now, John. Okay, Calm down. Okay. Lift the cores, John. Props! Okay, okay, cores okay. extra gold. Cold filtered for a... Props! Look, Jenny's up the door. She's in the cart. She's up the stick. She's pregnant. No, I still don't get it. So do you two know each other? <laughs> my cousin Wally. He's your cousin, but he's my cousin. Does that mean we're related? <gasps> Frankie, Frankie, Frankie! Yeah. <laughs> Can you be on stage? Yeah, you're right. Thanks for reminding me, Al Frank. <laughs> At it again, eh, Wal? Last year you were Roger Daltrey's love child trying to climb off his trout farm. Yeah, and I would have got away with it too, if the lawyers hadn't asked me to sing. But you can sing. Exactly. <laughs> Trust me, Frank, we could be partners. Frank and Wally's Bingo Palace. Partners. You're the one who left me with 5,000 pairs of platform sold shoes. They call me back in fashion. Not with bloody Smurfs on, they aren't. <laughs> Frank, you know what they say? Blood's thicker than water. And what about Henry? Well, no, I shouldn't think anything's thicker than Henry. <laughs> Look, what? I can't take the risk on starting a family of my own now. Besides, you'd always be trying to screw me for a few quid. Not that I haven't been screwed for a few quid before. <laughs> but you know what they say? When poverty comes in the door, it's time to sublet your back passage. <laughs> think about it, Frank. Think about it. I'm giving you the chance to hold fame and fortune in the palm of your hot, sticky hand. Yeah, well, I've had enough trouble with me hot, sticky hand, just like that. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, what? I'm not interested. All right, I give in. Henry can keep the theatre. Look, uh, I don't suppose you'd be uh, interested in a Ninja Turtle watch, would you? <laughs> Isn't that a Smurf with a blindfold on? Hi up, Jen. This is me cousin, Wally. Wally, Wally, Wally! Jenny, 
Jenny, Jenny! I knew you'd get her. One big happy family. Birds are quite big, really, and, and bees are dead little. So, Dan, I, I don't understand it. <laughs> Frank's been teaching me sex education, the four W's. Who, what, where and wow. <laughs> but now to wow you on stage, ladies and gentlemen, our final act, all the way from France. Uh, he's due here any second, so please give a big welcome for Stéphane Dupont. <laughs> I think that's him now, unless uh, somebody's ordered a pizza. <laughs> oh, oh no! I think uh, I think he's forgot the garlic bread. But now here he comes. Stephon de Pont, ladies and gentlemen, not the pizza man, although his act does take some topping. <laughs> but now I'd like you to give a round of applause to all the acts you've seen tonight, including Jeff Green, Attila Stockbroker, John Otway, Stephon de Pont, music by Nick in the Mix, and not forgetting Billy Moore, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no. No. But now, before we close, I've got some good news and some bad news. Cousin Wally has given me back the theatre, so I will be presenting the show next week. Yeah, and what's the good news? Well, sadly, uh, Cousin Wally's going to leave Cumsall, but before he goes, he and Cousin Frank want a word with you all, so I want you to give them the same welcome that you would give me. And second thoughts, so a round of applause might be uh, as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Wally and Frank. Do you know what? I think what I've found out since I've been here is that friends are the most important thing in the world. Frank, tell us about your friends. Shouldn't take too long. 
Yeah, well, I met some of my old friends the other day. They came bounding across the road to greet me. And this car sped round the corner and, and ploughed right into them. What did you do? I laughed. You what? I laughed. But what did they do? They laughed. But why? Because laughter makes the world go around singing while... A policeman accused me of stealing a car. I said, hey, I'm not to blame. That told him. He said, okay, no hard feelings, old chum. He gave me a bag of cocaine. Kinda generous. He said to his friends, we got a drug pusher here. They gained their confession by force. Did you name names? Well, just yours. What did they do? They laughed. And the magistrate? He laughed. The police complaints authority? They laughed. You know why? Oh, yeah. Because laughter makes the world go round. It's over now. It's time to put this show to bed. It's over now. So piss off home. You sleepy heads. It's over now, but somehow we know you liked it a bit because you paid to see this pile of shit. Hey, it wasn't that bad. Friend. Oh, I'm just kidding. We're still buddies. You betcha. Great. I'm gonna miss old Henry, he's a really lovely kid. Just because he bought a turtle watch for 47 quid. I'll keep in touch with Jenny, though she really makes me sweat. Hey, you haven't, uh... Not yet. It's over now. My bolt is shot. My hand is played. Get the Rizzlers. Make them king size, Wal. I always do. It's over now. Good night, Cook Soul. I feel sick. I think I'm having one of those sympathetic pregnancies. That would account for these strange urges. Peanut butter. Rubber gloves. For a herd. Good night, Ben Frank. Hey, you're not going on the town in your condition. Oh, well, I'm better now. Found out what was causing my problem. Look, don't think of it as your problem. Think of it as our problem. I'm sorry about that. Those cakes tasted all right, but there was mouse droppings in the mixed fruit. <laughs> I hope you don't get a pity of me. Listen, I've got to go. Can't keep Wally waiting. Mm -hmm. Are Ninja Turtles green, not blue? <laughs> Cheer up, Frank. Cheer up. It's all right for you. You've gained a theatre, but I've lost a family. Not all of it, Frank. You've still got me. Ooh. 